Did you know that the five Olympic rings represent five different continents participating in the Olympics? Also, have you ever wondered how much area is enclosed by these Olympic rings? That's an interesting question. Let's explore. So, in order to find the area, we can see it's just going to be, there's five circles. And for simplicity's sake, let's say each of these circles has a radius of one, and that the angle formed between these two points is 60 degrees. So to find this area, first of all, we have five circles of radius one. Five circles, what's the area of these five circles? Well, that's clearly pi r squared and r is just one. So that's just pi. So five pi. Now, what about each of these crescent-shaped regions? Notice that for each of these four crescent-shaped regions, we're over counting the area four different times. Because if you think about it, it's being counted as this region, for example, is being counted as part of the blue circle, also the yellow circle. So we're counting it twice, we should be counting it once, so we subtract its area. And we do the same for four of these regions. So to find the true area of this entire figure, we must subtract four crescents. Okay, so finding the area of the circles, that was pretty easy. How do we find the area of a crescent? Hmm. Well, notice that we can divide the crescent up into two equal parts. And that's going to be really useful because now instead of finding the total crescent, we can just find one of the parts and multiply by two. So to find this half crescent, let's first find this entire sector and then subtract off that triangle above. this equilateral triangle, which, and notice that it will be equilateral because this angle is 60 and these two angles must also be 60 because these are both radii, so it's an isosceles triangle and therefore these angles must be equal. So four crescents, each of those is going to be consisting of, as we saw, the sector, which is 60 over 360 times a circle times pi, one sixth pi, and then an equilateral triangle, which has an area of root 3 by 4 side squared, which is just 1 in this case, so root 3 by 4. So each of these crescents is 1 6 pi. Each of, the, each of this region over here is 1 6 pi minus root 3 over 4. And to form an entire crescent, we have 2 times that. So 1 crescent is equal to 2 times 1 sixth pi minus root 3 by 4, or pi by 3 minus root 3 by 2. So now we just plug that in over here. 4 times pi over 3 minus root 3 over 2. And we get 5 pi minus 4 pi over 3. And then over here it's just plus 2 root 3. And we can simplify this to 11 pi over 3 plus 2 root 3. And that is our answer. So this is the area enclosed by all of the Olympic rings. What an interesting question. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Olympic sport is. Did you know that there are over 400 of them?